Okay, so continuation on the 444, you gotta get all these lined up. So it took a little bit of beating back and forth on these gears. So slide the camera up here. So we now can go through the channel on all three of those slots. So reverse first is one, second, third is another, and then fourth is on its own. Now, take a look at the markings so you know what these look like in here for yours, so this can help you, okay? This is low high range. The big one, in case you didn't know, this in here, low high range, sits back here. It's low range where it is when you pull it out. At least that's where it should be when you pull it out. Um, then you can see these two go together. This one's next, and then this one's the whole way back. Now, we're going to run through the gears so you can see them for yourself. That's reverse, okay? Again, reverse. Now we'll go to first. Same slot, right? Moves it forward. Again, first. Okay, we're going to drop down one. We're going to go to second. We'll go to third. We're going to go up to second. Oh, skipped. Second, third. Okay. Then we'll go to fourth. Fourth on this one's a bugger, but that's okay. We don't use fourth that much, anyways. There. And there's fourth. Hold it. And I'm back in between all gears. So that's how yours should look lined up. Now, the fun part about this is you take this and you have to get all the gears inside of the tractor case lined up to match this before you drop it in place. Okay.